All right, um, I found out something quite interesting not so long ago while testing our transformer. Um, I've gone down through a big choke here to kill the current a bit, and um, hey, it works okay. Um, this big rotor was out of an old washing machine motor that I had laying around, and um, of course, with these. Uh, Bearings you can either get uh, ones that have got the rubber seals, which are more suited to outdoors, heavy dust. Um, but in things like uh, washing machines, um, household products, where it's um, a lot less dusty, they use the steel um, dust caps on the bearings. And the inside doesn't actually touch the bearing, only just misses it. May rub on it ever so slightly but um, with these in it it's still spun as good as that so um, I put this rotor on here to try it on the um, setup here and um, I spun it up hit the power and this thing stopped like someone had applied the brakes to it even though it spun that easy so um, what I decided to do was check have a look in the bearings and put I was going to put a little bit of oil in there try to get them freed up a bit because I thought maybe um, they're just arcing out and sticking and um, I removed these caps which of course are metal magnetic um, I put the rotor back on there without putting any oil in there give it a spin hit the button and away it went like so As you can see, even after that long run, these are fairly cool because I'm not putting a lot of current through it. Bearings are a bit warm. The shaft is fairly cool. Um, so yeah, not a lot, a lot of current going through it. Um, my transformer stays nice and cool. A little bit warm, but um, I've been running that uh, for about the last hour. And um, it's doing it no problem at all. Even this uh, smaller gauge wire choke is hanging up course does get warm but this thing will not spin with the steel caps around the bearings but once I cut them out done nothing else but cut these out give it a spin switched it on and away it went so um, obviously the outside of our um, bearing housing is going to be one polarity and the inside is going to be the other um, which means that the two magnetic fields created around each ring must be different one north one south perhaps um, so it's interesting um, very interesting knowing that when these steel plates are in place this thing will actually slow down really quick when I apply power. When I take the steel rings off the bearings, it speeds up as you've seen when I apply power. So, um, extremely interesting. Now, the problem is because uh, we're using AC at the moment, we can't stick a compass near the bearing or near the shaft because we won't see anything because we're using AC. So, obviously the field will be swapping but um, I think that's an important find steel caps on the bearings even though it spins as free as that the motor slows down like someone's applied the brakes steel caps off the bearings and as you just see it runs quite fine on a reasonably low current too um, of course if we stick a battery across it the thing gets up that much speed you want to get out of the shed before it flies to pieces but um, I want to be able to run it 
a fairly good um, time each test so for that reason <coughs> excuse me for that reason I'm using a lower current so I can get a longer run time and um, have a look at some waveforms so um, I'm actually thinking um, if you've seen in the first video I posted it looked like the uh, the uh, polarity both here and on the outside the bearing was slightly out of phase and I'm guessing or I'm almost betting that if I had a spun it around the other way the phase difference would have changed but um, yeah so that's uh, my discovery we've got a decent test bed now that's just sitting in there I can uh, make up different rotors and that plonk them in I'm going to machine one up with a big steel plate like we've seen on the example video I put in the start of the thread because that thing really hammered um, but yeah it's really unknown how much current he was putting through it because my current is um, limited with this uh, big heavy choke in here so there you go she's all good up and running and fit all my coils back up to this and um, have another look at that and see what happens when we spin in different directions to our waveforms. Cheers guys.